former superior general of the Society of Jesus, uh, Hans Kolvenbach, said that our students in the time that they're with us need to be exposed to the gritty reality of the world so that that begins to shape the way they behave, the way they think, and the way that they love. Our students need to see life beyond their, their community. If we did not have these immersion trips, our students would lose the ability to experience life in some of the most marginalized communities in our country. Any way we can break down barriers between peoples, between nations, um, where we can really experience solidarity um, with people from another culture, background, or nation, that experience is incredibly valuable. We take the, the notion of being men for others um, to a new level when we're able to really connect. These kids need to get out of their zone. They need to get out of life at prep and life with, you know, lacrosse and plays and robotics, and they need to see the meat of the world. Uh, most of our days are, are built around uh, really rediscovering that lost art of conversation that uh, young men today uh, don't really get to experience. Uh, they spend way too much time on their phones, uh, not getting the opportunity to engage uh, with, with human people. Uh, so that, that's something we really focus on, uh, learning how to talk and how to listen. I think getting out of the, uh, the bubble of Georgetown Prep is just nothing but a golden opportunity for our guys. They've gone through the rigor at Georgetown Prep. They've done service locally here. But to bring them together into a new part of the world, new part of our own country, uh, is, is immensely important to them. Uh, well, what I want them to know is that Georgetown Prep is a wonderful place, but it's not like any place in the world. It's not really the real world. Uh, and what we found is that when the boys are doing this kind of labor, when they're working hard, their minds are open and they're thinking and they're observing. It's, and they recognize the privilege of what they have here and their obligation uh, to be men for and with others. So Pine Ridge and the county that Pine Ridge is in is the poorest county in the United States. It's an Indian reservation uh, for the Lakota Sioux people. We really were centered around building um, New Orleans back up from what happened after Katrina. And part of that was uh, building affordable housing for everyone. For a week we lived on the U.S. side of the U.S.-Mexico border. To truly understand an issue, you need to put yourself in the person's shoes. And that's exactly what we did at the Father McKenna Center. We put ourselves at, in the shoes of the homeless. I went to the Muscular Dystrophy Association um, with five other prep kids and a faculty member and helped out um, kids with muscular dystrophy have a good week at summer camp. Uh, we partnered with Habitat for Humanity and worked on two houses on the eastern shore of Virginia. When the people say that construction workers and stuff have the most satisfying job, it's because you get to see your progress and to see your progress at the end of the week, it really does make you feel like you've made a difference. You know, I thought we were gonna go there and do some lawn work, do some landscaping mainly, but I'd ha I had no idea the impact it would leave on me. You actually go beyond your comfortable area, beyond your comfortable bubble, and that's where you learn much more about yourself and much more about the community. Because there's just, there's so much more than just the facts and the numbers. There's, you know, there's actual people in their stories. I, I pray and I hope that I made a difference in their lives, but the impact they had on me was so great. The grass is gonna grow back, you know, the paint's gonna chip, but the relationships we form, those, those will never leave us nor the people there. Obviously a bunch of high school students are not gonna solve the pro all the problems at the border, but we definitely learned how we could definitely solve those in the future. It bonds you with your prep brothers, and it also is a great way to put into action the teachings that prep has taught you over the past three years. We really had something special, and we've continued to talk about it throughout the year. I loved it so much. There were five of us who went, and four of us are going back again this year, taking another group of juniors with us. Without a doubt, it's an experience I'll never forget, experience no matter where I go, no matter what I do, I'll think about for the rest of my life. I'm convinced that prep is a better place because of these experiences. These young men come back during their senior year, they talk to younger students about it, and they recognize that this is a tremendously important, vital part of their prep experience. You know, I've seen people move to tears on these, these trips. Uh, it's a real sign that their, their heart is being opened to a new reality. But in the course of time, with a lot of reflection, which is key to this experience, they really do begin to make meaning out of what, what they did. And I've seen this firsthand. It really does transform the lives of these young men.